There is a German characteristic that I am very proud to have adopted over the years. And it's a trait that I think Germans don't even realize they have. It's a little bit difficult to explain, so you'll have to bear with me for a little bit. Winter in Germany. But of course, there still are German characteristics that I refuse to adopt, such as... Here's one thing I will never, ever be Germanized on. About to go on a walk, so I check the weather to see how cold it is, and you see here, I'm living in Fahrenheit still. I am still a Fahrenheit fella, and that will never go away. That's how my brain thinks. 39 degrees, that's cold. Now, many of you guys probably know there is a monumental change to my life in Germany. I'm no longer playing American football here, which was the entire reason I came to Germany in the first place. Uno, dos, tres, Uno. <laughs> my life in Germany looks a lot different. Not bad, just different. I wanna, I wanna turn the tables a little bit. I wanna start asking you some stuff. Here I am. How does it feel to be retired? So weird, man. Yeah. It's so weird. I bet. I've been on the road a lot for some job opportunities, something that I have not done here in Germany before. Here's my car, and here is a person parking ridiculously German. And now I have to go around the other side to get in the driver's seat. Okay. Ugh. Shout out to German parkers. Oh, too big for that. This is so much room on the other side. One of the glorious mysteries of this country, a country of order and structure, but when it comes to parking, chaos. And of course I still have amazing moments here, like this day with Laura in the Alps. We're going sledding. Go but sledding. first, butter pretzel. Yes. This is this is the best breakfast that there is. Okay, a butter pretzel from Foul Marks in Algoy. A protein bar. We're fueling up because we're gonna go sledding, and we are off, dragging our sleds, walking up the mountain to go sledding. Sledding. Side note: sledding is incredibly fun. I had never gone sledding before. It was so fun. And I got a little bit too confident and I crashed. And I have other great moments like hanging out with a bunch of my friends, watching our other friends play in a basketball game. We're at the Blaufeld Baskets basketball game. Oh! It's too fast! Get a little action on this? The baskets! But I also have moments of discomfort now. I don't have the emotional security blanket of being a member of a football team. And I have moments of solitude. And sometimes I even feel a little bit lost being in Germany right now. But this is kind of exactly what I'm talking about. We Americans are often so afraid of slight discomfort. It feels like we're programmed to see any slight discomfort as a horrible thing and immediately try to get rid of it. If you have a little bit of pain, oh, that's unacceptable. Boom, let's prescribe you some hardcore addictive pain medicine. It's a little bit warm out, boom, let's get some air conditioning immediately. We cannot deal with the slight discomfort of warm days. I am previously guilty of that one. It is so hot. Whereas what I've noticed from Germans over the years is that they seem to see discomfort as a natural part of life. Yeah, it's really warm out in the summer and you know, you might be a little bit sweaty and that's okay. It's okay to be a little bit uncomfortable. It's not the end of the world. Now this is not to say that German people like being uncomfortable. Nobody likes being uncomfortable, but it's to say that 
Germans seem to see it as a natural part of life and not something that you need to immediately run away from or make drastic changes the second you feel any slight discomfort, whether that be physically, emotionally, or mentally. It's something that I really admire about the German mentality and realize I've actually slowly picked up on that. All right, just had a good meeting here in the city and since I'm in the city, I'm gonna go and get my favorite treat, a Starbucks. This is a period of change and slight discomfort for me. I'm an idiot. I uh, typed in Google Maps to go to a Starbucks and started following it and turns out the Starbucks is on an American military base and I can't get on there without somebody signing me in. Also, I don't have my passport. Anyway, how am I gonna prove I'm American? Okay, um, not sure what to do. I think past versions of myself would try to make immediate drastic changes right now, but after adopting this mentality, I feel like I'm kind of just sitting in the discomfort a little bit. All right, well, I guess the universe doesn't want me to have Starbucks today. Lesson learned. And uh, I'm stopping by at this nice little local German bakery instead to get my coffee. Happy? Everybody happy? It's a natural part of life. I'm in a season of change and it's okay. Everything doesn't need to be perfect right now. All right, it all worked out like it was supposed to. And we did get a butter pretzel out of the deal, so. Starbucks doesn't have that. Life is full of ups and downs, sunny days, gloomy days, and change. And sometimes that change is uncomfortable, but it's natural and necessary. Like, I mean, that was such a big part of my life. Yeah. Like, huge. I mean, you, like how that is for us, it's like part of our identity you can't, yeah, too. You can't, you can't escape it. You can't disassociate yourself from that. Yeah, like, it's just... It's like, I still feel like I'm a football player. Yeah. And so being comfortable being uncomfortable is the German trait that I'm very proud to have adopted. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you next time.